All right, welcome to another video in our series of videos building a dashboard and adding some interactivity. What we are going to do today is add interactivity between each of the visualizations. So you'll see right now that what happens when I click on anything is nothing. And we're going to change that. We're going to make it so that when we click on something here, it's going to filter everything else to just reflect what we clicked on. First thing I'm going to do is just rearrange my set up here so that uh, it's a little bit wider and I have a little bit more space. I'm giving a little bit more space to my filters than I want at the moment. All right, so now we can see what's going on. We're going to click uh, one of the useful Tableau features, which is this little filter button up here. You, it is shaped like a filter. You have to look very closely to see that. Uh, and it's called Users Filter. So once we click that and turn it on, you'll see that. Every time we click on an item within here, the other graphs adjust. And what that's doing, now that I've highlighted tables, is this is showing us now the trend for sales of tables over time. And this graph down here is showing us table orders by province. If we clicked on envelopes, it would do the same thing and it would change these to all be envelope trends and envelope orders by province. The great thing about this little button up here is we can also use office supplies and it's going to highlight all of the office supplies or all of the technology. We can also select by holding control. So we can take uh, binders and their associated things. We can click on labels and add rubber bands and maybe paper in there as well. And that's going to give us all of those. And then we can click off everything and we can get it back to everything. So that's a great little feature. So we're going to turn that on for all of our graphs here. So I've turned it on for province. So now we'll click around. See, look, now you can get the orders by province. We'll turn all of those off. And then we're going to click up here and we're going to do the same thing with this. And now if we click on any of the years, you'll see that the graphs at the bottom filter for the year. If we click on the quarter, this is going to show us just Q3 2010, just Q4 2010, etc, etc. So that's how you add basic interactivity to your dashboard. There's a couple of ways you can customize it, and you do that by going up to dashboard and selecting actions. This is what's called a filtering action. And you can see we have three filtering actions that we've generated. Filter one is run on selecting one of the items on orders by category, filter two, orders by province, filter three, orders by time. You can rename these if you want them to. Uh, one of the things we're going to do though, whoops, is we're going to click on filter one and just go to edit and then we'll show you what goes on inside the edit box here. Uh, so this is showing us the source sheets. This is the sheet in the dashboard where the filter originates, right? So if we click on anything in orders by category, then it's going to change the orders by category. And then the target sheets are the ones which it impacts. So it's going to, when we click on something in orders by category, it's going to impact orders by category, orders by province, and orders over time, which is exactly what it's doing. Down here at the bottom, we have target filters. Target filters allow you to select certain fields within the source data that will be impacted while others may not. If you have other fields, like if we had a time field in here too, uh, we might not want that to impact the other ones. We might just want it to be by category. I do like to set this in a lot of my filters just to make sure that nothing unexpected happens. It's very easy to do. You just go to selective fields here. Data source is orders. That's the only one that we have. Um, and then we're going to select the product category. And then the target, so this is the source, is going to be the product category. That's the ones at the top. And then field is going to be product category for the target down at the bottom. It's going to add that as a line. Then we're going to add another one. The second one is going to be the product subcategory. Remember, we were filtering on that too. So now we have our two categories that we wanted to filter on. If we add anything or change anything else on this visualization, it's not going to be included in that filtering action. And that is exactly OK with us. Click on OK to save that. And then we're going to do the same with the next one. So this is orders by province. The only one we want this to filter on is just the province field. So we go to selective fields, add field. And we're going to go down here to province. It pops up in the target as well. Select OK. And then in the last one, the selective fields in this one, because it's a date, we want to be a little bit careful with it. But we want order date and order date. And then we're going to click OK. And see, it's given us a warning here that we're missing certain fields that we have in there. And the reason for that is because we actually have to add a filter within here, within order date. There's going to be one for day, 
one for MDY, which is the month, day, year, month, month, year, quarter, year, etc., etc., etc. We can add all those if we want, um, but since we only have the one field in here, it might just be easier to go ahead and click all fields. Actually, just to be tidy, we'll remove this and then click all fields. And that's going to continue to filter in just the way it has been doing before. Click out of those, click OK on all of those. And now you have a dashboard where you have plenty of interactivity. So we can look at our overall sales trends over time. We can look at the sales trends for a particular product subcategory, a particular category, um, a particular category for a particular province. Um, and if we really wanted to, a particular category for a particular province for a particular year or even a particular quarter. Thank you very much for walking through this video with us. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you would like the links to the other videos in this series of videos, then please also look in the uh, video description. We have a link to the data set in the video description as well. And we will have a version of this dashboard available to you to download from Tableau Public so that if you want to get in and play around with it yourself, exactly the dashboard that we uh, created using this demonstration, you can do that as well. If you like what you're seeing, then please subscribe to our channel, Tableau, in two minutes, and we will see you next time.